Hello and welcome back everyone to another um, Tips for Game Master Creation video. Today we're going to talk about a much discussed topic and that is end guns. So let's get right into it and see what end guns actually are. From a mathematical point of view, uh, n gon is just a polygon with n sides. That means, for example, that a triangle is actually also an n gon because it has three sides. Now, a lot of times when people talk about n gons in computer graphics, they actually mean polygons that have more than four sides, and that's also the polygons that we're going to talk about today. Now that we know what n gons are, we just have to figure out why there's so much discussion going on about them, and do we really have to avoid them when creating game assets? To answer these questions, we first have to take a look at how rendering engines work. So basically what a rendering engine is doing when it's trying to render a 3D model is that it's going to take all the faces on the model and then triangulate those faces. That means that every face is going to split until there are only triangles left. Now to better understand this, let's take a look at an example in Blender 2.8. Here I have a really simple model and as you probably already can see, this model consists of quite a lot of end guns. In Blender we do have the option to select all the faces that have, for example, more than four sides. And if we do so, we can see that this mesh is mainly um, made up of end guns. So uh, we just have a few normal quads in the middle where it's rounded. Um, but the rest is nearly all end guns. Now let's go into the rendering mode and take a look at our model now. It actually still looks quite the same. This is because we are working with flat faces. Okay, now you would say like, isn't every face flat? Um, actually it is, but for example, the middle round part and the edges um, should be kind of more smoothened out and we can do so by shading the whole mesh smooth. But now you can see the problems with Engons because now you can see the triangulate working. So um, now we have a nice smooth rounding in the middle, but we have the problem that the flat faces that were Engons are now shaded a bit weird. So in Blender we can change that. So we can go to the object data and put auto smooth on so we can set on an angle in which it's shading smooth and otherwise it's shading flat. Now our object is just looking fine. But that brings us to the point where the problem with Engons is. We do have to change some settings, for example in Blender, to make it look nice. Now what would happen if we export our object to another software? Let's take for this example a really basic shape. I'm gonna go for a cylinder with the 16 sides and then just export it because we have two end guns, one at the top and one at the bottom. Um, exporting, I'm gonna export it in OBJ format and in the settings on the left, you can see we have an option that's um, triangulating the faces and we're not gonna do that for this example. So I'm just gonna leave it disabled and then export it. Now, when I open that OBG file in ZBrush, um, it immediately gives me a message, an error message, that there's obviously some problem with the mesh. And if I drag it up and then rotate, you can see that the end gun on top and the bottom is not really um, displayed correctly because ZBrush is not working perfectly with end guns. So here we can see already one of the biggest problems, in my opinion, with end guns. Like when you want to use your object in another software or maybe give it to another person who might use it in another software, try to avoid end guns. Um, in the worst case, just use a triangulate modifier or the tool so you don't have any end guns when you're exporting your mesh. Now, obviously, there's also something good about end guns. First of all, I think the mesh can look um, much cleaner than if you have normal quads and it can also save you a lot of time. For example, I duplicated the mesh that I had before and added loop cuts and edges and it took me about 20 minutes to get all the end guns away and of course also in the end the mesh with only quads had a lot more faces than the other one. So we have already seen that, for example, ZBrush is not really working very well with end guns. But if you're just developing your model in one software, like for example, just some Blender, just some Maya, and you know, okay, that's 
working with nguns the only question is okay how do game engines like unreal or unity work with it so i exported those two um, models and got them into unreal engine to see if there's any difference after i placed both of the objects and scaled them up a little bit i had to say i could not see any difference between the two so neither the nguns or the one that has only quad um was making much of a difference so if you're using your game asset for your own purposes and you know which game engine you're going to use and you know that game engine is working fine with nguns i wouldn't go through the trouble in um deleting them but if you want to sell your game asset and or you you want to use it maybe give it to friends i don't know for and you don't know which game engine they are going to use and you don't know if that's going to work with nguns then i would try to avoid it so that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. And I know I haven't been ta talking about all the topics, for example, like performance. We haven't covered that, but I'm sure you can find out about that yourself if you're really interested. And I will see you in the next video.